أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وإذا بارك أو سيدي الشيخ سيدي محمد فوزي الكركري قدس الله سره Notes from Mudadara of March 20th 2024 part 2 before starting this video i would like to state that this work would never have seen the light without city shaykh if something is wrong it will be from myself and everything that is correct is from city shaykh in the initial part of this lecture city shaykh spoke about the divine light and the example of the light based on the first part of verse 35 of surah an-nur he explained that the heavens the earth and all that they include are a manifestation of the Divine Light. In this part, Sidishan continued to explain the same verse, where he discussed the blessed tree, and explained the importance of the Divine Light in understanding the reality of one's existence. Sidishan said that if one were to leave the earth and heavens, he would discover that himself, the heavens and the earth, are in need of a light that emanates from a lamp in a glass in a niche. So, if one were to read oneself of the earth and heavens and search for their reality, he would find that they are light illuminated by this fourfold example, the niche, the lamp, the glass, and the pearly star. Sidi Sheikh explained that when one enters the niche and approaches the lamp, he discovers that the lamp is shielded by the glass. As he draws closer to the glass, he realizes its shape resembles a pearly star, Kaukab Zurri. And when one draws closer to the pearly star, he discovers that it is illuminated by a blessed tree. This means that there is who, by the command of Allah, controls the pearly star. Therefore, this pearly star is in need and is lit from a blessed tree. This tree is blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's an olive tree, which is neither of the east nor of the west. The intellect will ask, all trees are on earth. Are they the source that lights the pearly star? No, for sure. Then why Allah described this tree as an olive tree? It's because the olive tree never dries. It's always green in all seasons and situations. Moreover, if one were to search within the olive tree, he would find that it relies on itself after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Its energy and light are sourced from within itself. In contrast to other trees, that require external resources. The olive tree, wherever it is planted, thrives and grows and it supports the lack of water and difficult circumstances. To confirm that the blessed tree is not the olive tree on earth, Allah said that it's neither of the east nor of the west. This tree does not have directions. It lacks orientation towards east and west. And as long as it lacks an orientation towards east and west, it won't have north and south either. However, it does have the up and down directions because it's a tree. In the same verse, Allah says about the blessed tree, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, whose oil would almost glow even if untouched by fire. Sidi Sheikh explained that the scepter flow, Sarayan, of this tree's oil is always illuminated without the need for an external ignition. With the illumination of the tree's oil, the pearly star, which is in the glass within the niche, illuminates and emits a light that reveals the heavens and the earth. Sidi Sheikh explained that producing fire requires a movement, like friction for example. However, this tree is in a state of stillness, sukun. It does not move and its oil is illuminated. Sidi Sheikh summarized the concept of the blessed tree. He said that it's an illuminated tree in the form of an olive tree. It's perpetually illuminating from within itself and it illuminates the pearly star and the fourfold example, which in turn illuminates and reveals the heavens and the earth. In the next part of the same verse, Allah says, Light upon light. Sidi Sheikh explained that all of this example is from light upon light. The niche is light. The glass is light. The lamp is light. The pearly star is light. The blessed tree is light. The olive of the tree is light. It does not have directions, as it's entirely light within light. Its oil 
is a noisy light that illuminates in a state of stillness, commanded itself by itself, and lacking nothing external after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allah guides to his light whom he wills. Sidi Shaykh explained that the light guiding the Muslim and believer servant is sent by Allah for his guidance. It descended in the manner previously described and to reach in him. This means that when one witnesses the light of Allah and desires to search for its origin, history, and how it reached him, and from where it came, he should understand that it followed this order. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and Allah presents examples for the people. Sidi Shaykh explained that Allah did not mention Muslims or believers, but people, and nas This means that even if one is not Muslim and is not believer, he is a manifestation, madhar, from the light of Allah. And Allah is knowing of all things. Allah is known of those upon whom he cast his light and upon whom the light fell as well as those who missed it. So if one sees himself as a human, he should search for this light. Allah loved all of his creatures. Thus, he descended this example for all of them and presented this example for all the people. Sidi Shaykh said, Indeed, Allah created us. But how? Why? And how did we become what we are now? Is this our initial life, or have we lived before? Have we lived in other transient eras, only to return to this one? Will we remain in future eternal epochs, or is this current time our ultimate conclusion? One may deny these questions upon here and there, but in one instance, when one is sitting alone, his intellect would transmit these questions to his heart, and his heart would then relay it to his soul. Even if one keeps this question internalized, and fears to discuss them, they reside within his inner self, because it's about the example that Allah presented to all people. So as long as this is an example of the divine light of the Lord Almighty, there is no need to conceal this matter. Indeed, it's essential for one to truly search, contemplate, and reflect in order to find a solution for oneself, understand one's origin and destination, and comprehend the divine reality from which Allah created him. So that was all for this video. Alhamdulillah, الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا إن هدانا الله. لقد جاءت رسول ربنا بالحق. اللهم لك الحمد. اللهم لك الحمد. اللهم لك الحمد. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون. وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين.